Hello learners, welcome to this program Education Online. I am teacher Akena Patrick Omoy, a teacher of physics, and I'm going to take you to, through today's lesson. And our subtopic is going to be ray diagrams. That is for learners in senior three and senior four. Under the main topic, lenses and optical systems. Now for us to understand ray diagrams, we first need to know what a ray is. Now learners, what is a ray? A ray, we say a ray is a path, it's a path along which, along which light travels, along which light travels. And a ray is always represented with a straight line, a straight line with an arrow. So the arrow shows the direction towards which light travels. So now when we talk about ray diagrams, we mean an illustration of how we can locate the position of an object, sorry, of, an, of the image form when an object is placed at various positions in front of a lens. Now for us to locate the position of an image, we have to use one of the following rays. We can use one or we can use two of the following rays. One is a ray, a ray parallel to the principal, to the principal axis, full axis, which passes through the principal. principal focus after after refraction after refraction from the lens now dear learners if we have a ray that is parallel to the principal axis so this ray is going to be refracted and it will pass through the principal focus of the lens. Now, if this is our lens, so this type of lens is a convex lens. Now, if we have a ray, so a line passing through the optical center and the principal focus of the lens is called the principal axis. So this is the principal axis of the lens. So we have two points, one on the left hand side. This is the principal focus. Then we also have another principal focus on the other side of the lens. Now if we have a ray that is parallel to the principal axis. So this is the principal axis principal axis now a ray parallel to the principal axis this is a ray parallel to the principal axis so now when this ray touches the lens it is going to be refracted and it will pass through the principal focus it will pass through the principal focus of the lens. So as we say, ray diagram is always represented with a straight line with an arrow, which means when this ray of light touches the lens, so it is going to be refracted and it will be allowed to pass through the principal focus of the lens. Then the second ray that we can use is a ray A ray through a ray through the optical center center which 
goes undeviated. When we talk about a ray which goes undeviated, means it is going to pass through the optical center and it will not be refracted. If this is our lens, If this is our lens, then a line through through the optical center and the principal focus is called the principal axis. Principal axis. So this is the principal focus. Now if we have a ray that passes through the optical center and it is undeviated, which means it will not be refracted. So a ray can pass through the optical center and deviated, meaning its direction will not change. Its direction will not change. So we represent this with a straight line with an arrow which shows the direction of propagation of light. So this ray, when it passes through the optical center, and we said optical center is the point at between the poles of the lens. So this ray will not be refracted. Then the third ray that we have, that is a ray, a ray through the principal focus, principal focus which is refracted refracted parallel parallel to the principal axis principal axis which means if a ray which if a ray passes through the principal focus so that ray will be refracted parallel to the principal axis. Dear learners, if this is our convex lens, then a line through the optical center, a line through the optical center and the principal focus is called the principal axis. Principal axis. Then on one side we shall have the principal focus of the lens, then another principal focus on the other side. Now if a ray passes through the principal focus and is refracted parallel to the principal axis, how does the ray appear, dear learners? So this is what happened. This is our principal focus. So when a ray passes through the principal focus, This is a ray through the principal focus. When it touches the lens, this ray is going to be refracted parallel to the principal axis. It will be refracted parallel to the principal axis. Parallel to the principal axis. So now in locating the position of an object, we shall always use two of the following rays. We can decide to use a ray which is parallel to the principal axis which passes through the principal focus after it has been refracted. Or we can use a ray through the optical center which goes undeviated, mean, meaning its direction does not change. Or we can use a ray through the principal axis, through the principal focus which is refracted parallel to the principal axis. Dear learners, after knowing that these are the three rays that we have, we can use two of them. Now let's go ahead and look at the characteristics of image formed by a lens at various positions. So now the objects, the, the characteristics will depend on the position of the object. That is whether the object is placed at the principal axis when the object is placed between the principal axis and the optical center and any other position.
Now one, let's take an object at an object between F and optical center. Optical center. Where F is the principal focus. And we define principal focus. We say this is a point along the principal axis where rays converge after being refracted from the lens. Now, if an object is placed between the principal focus and the optical center, what are the characteristics of the image that will be formed? If this is our lens, this is a convex lens. Then a line which passes through the center is called the principal axis. This is the principal axis of the lens. Now, we can have, if this is the principal focus, then we have another principal focus at that point. So the distance between one from the distance from the optical center to the principal focus will be the same on either side. Now, if we have an object between F and the optical center, this is F and this is the optical center, which means the object is going to be at this point. Dear learners, we can see it is between F and the optical center. Now, we are going to use two of these rays that we have named them. So now let's take a ray which is parallel to the principal axis and is going to be refracted through the principal focus. So this ray is parallel to the principal axis. Once this ray has touched the lens, this ray is going to be refracted and it will pass through the principal focus of the lens. So this ray is going to be refracted through the principal focus of the lens. Don't forget to indicate the arrow. Arrow will show the direction towards which the ray is moving. So now we have taken a ray parallel to the principal axis which passes through the principal focus after it has been refracted from the lens. Then we are going to take the second ray that is a ray which passes through the optical center and deviated. So this is a ray which passes through the optical center and deviated, meaning it is not going to change its direction through the optical center and deviated, meaning its direction will not change. So the arrow will, shows, will show the direction towards which the light is propagating. Now, when you try to project, we can see these rays, they are not going to meet. They are just moving in various directions. But when we try to project this, we project the, the rays, that is, outward. We can see that this, rays, this ray will appear like it's coming from that point. What about this ray? This ray also will appear like it's coming from a certain point. So now we can see these rays are meeting at some point. So now this is the point where the image of the object is formed. This is the point where the image of the object is formed. So this is O, which is the object. Then this is I, which is the image. So now we are going to state the characteristics of the image form when the object is between F and the optical center from this diagram. So now what, what are the characteristics of this image? One, when we look at this image, we see that this image is bigger than the object. So we're going to say the image is magnified. Magnified. Meaning the image is bigger than the object as you can see from this drawing. Then the second characteristic 
what do we see we can see this object is upright this image is also upright which means we can say the image is upright upright then what other characteristics do we see from here so this image it is not a real image it is a visual image because we just projected this line and it appears to be meeting at this point but in actual sense the rays are not meeting here so this of this image we say it is visual visual a visual image is an image which is not formed on the screen so these are the characteristics of the image form that is for an object placed between the principal focus and the optical center so now let's look at the second position where we can put an object then we also see the characteristics of the image that will be formed now what if we place an object at the principal focus of the lens that is at point f what are the characteristics of the image that will be formed so the second position is an object at f to an object an object at f meaning an object placed at the principal focus now dear learners let's still take the convex lens if this is our convex lens this is our convex lens then we shall have a line that passes through the center of the lens or the line that passes through the optical center and the principal focus and we say we call that line the principal axis if this is a principal axis that is a line which passes through the optical center and the principal focus if this is the principal focus then we also have another point here which is also the principal focus we can also have twice of this we can call it 2f then twice of this is also 2f meaning it is the second principal focus or in other term we can say this refer is this is the radius of curvature that is the radius of the sphere from which the lens has been cut now if we have an object placed at f that is object placed at the principal focus so this is an object placed at the principal focus now we are going to use also two of the rays one is a ray that is parallel to the principal axis and is going to be refracted through the principal focus so if this is a ray which is parallel to the principal axis so this ray will be refracted through the principal focus if it comes in contact with the lens so the ray is going to be refracted through the principal focus so this is the first ray that we have then the second ray is a ray through the optical center which goes undeviated meaning its direction does not change so now if we have this is a ray through the optical center in which the direction does not change so this is a ray through the optical center in which the direction does not change we can also see these two rays don't meet when we also try to project it outward we shall find that these rays will still not meet the rays will still not meet so now dear learners how do we state the characteristics of the image form that is when the object is at f that is at the principal focus so now what we see this image is at infinity the image is at infinity the image is at infinity since we see these rays do not intersect they don't meet which means the image is 
form at a very far distance. So we say the images are infinity. Then two, we can say the image is magnified. So this image that will be formed at infinity will be bigger than the object. So as you can see, it is parallel. It does not mean, but it does not mean, but the image that will be formed will be bigger than the object. So the image will be magnified. A magnified image is an image which is bigger than the object. So those are the characteristics. Then this image also, we can see the object is upright. So this image will also be upright. The image will be upright. That is, it will be also facing upward. Then this image that will be formed, it will not be a real image. So we can say it is a visual image visual image so these are the characteristics of the image that will be formed that is when the object is placed at f that is the principal focus of a convex lens there are still various positions where we can place the object then let us look at the third position where we can place the object then we see the characteristics of the image that will be formed so at various positions of the object the image will always have various characteristics the image will always have various characteristics now let's look at the third position where we can place the object we can say three that is an object an object between f and 2f now dear learners let's look at also the characteristics of the image that will be formed that is when the object is placed between f and 2f f is the principal focus and 2f this becomes now the radius of radius of curvature of the lens still considering the convex lens this is our convex lens then a line through the optical center and the principal focus is the principal axis. If this is the principal axis of the lens, then the point in between the pole is called the optical center. Then if we have the principal focus on this side, then we also have another principal focus on the other side. So twice of this is going to be 2F. And this 2F is now the radius of curvature of the lens. Also on this side we shall have 2f. This is also the radius of curvature on the other side. Now let's also take two of the rays that we have mentioned. One, okay, if the object is between f and 2f. So this is the position of the object between f and 2f. Now we are also going to take a ray a ray which is parallel to the principal axis. So this is a ray parallel to the principal axis. So when, when this ray, which is parallel to the principal axis, touches the lens, it is going to be refracted through the principal focus of the lens. Through the principal focus of the lens. We indicate with an arrow that is showing the direction towards which the ray is moving. Then the second ray that we are going to take is a ray that passes through the optical center undeviated. So this is a ray that passes through the optical center undeviated, meaning its direction will not change. A ray through the optical center. So this is a ray through the optical center. So this ray we can prolong it so that they meet at certain point. In a straight line. Yes. We can see where this is where the two rays are meeting. So now from here we can state the characteristics of the image form. That is from our illustration. So this is the image.
so this is O which is the object then this is I which is the image so dear learners it is from here that we can state the characteristics of the image form that is when the object is between F and 2F now when we look at the size of the image and the size of the object we can see that the image is bigger than the object so we can say the image is magnified Magni magnified meaning bigger than the object then still when we look at this image and the object the object is standing is standing facing upward but the image is facing downward downward so we say the image is inverted in inverted so the image is facing downward but the object is facing upward then also when we look at this image this is a real image because they are formed by the actual intersection of rays meaning they are formed on the screen so we say the image is real the image is real meaning it is they are formed by the actual intersection of rays then when we look at the position of this object this is f this is 2f this object is formed beyond 2f so this also becomes another characteristics another characteristic of the object sorry of the image the image is beyond 2f the image is beyond beyond 2f so dear learners these are the characteristics of an image form that is when the object is placed between f and 2f just keep in mind that the characteristic will just depend on the position of the object that is where the object is placed we can still place these objects at various positions now let's look at the next position where we can place an object then we see also the characteristics of the image that will be formed so the characteristic depends on the position of the object that is where the object is placed now let's look at the fourth position where we can put the object that is an object an object at 2f an object at 2f that is when the object is placed at the center of the lens since we said 2f means the radius of curvature and the radius is the distance from the center of a circular path so we say this lens is, has been cut from a sphere so it's still taking a convex lens if this is our convex lens then we still take the line through the optical center and the principal focus to be the principal axis of the lens so this is the principal axis of the lens then if we have at this point this is the principal focus then we also have another principal focus at this point the distance should be the same then twice of this is going to be 2f then also on the on this side twice is going to be 2f now if we place an object at 2f then what are the characteristics of the of the image that will be formed so this is 2f this is where we place our object so this is an object at 2f now we are also going to take a ray parallel to the principal axis that will be refracted through the principal focus so this is a ray parallel to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis and this ray is traveling in this direction so this ray will be refracted through the principal focus of the lens so when it is refracted through the principal focus so this is the direction it will follow then we are also going to take a ray 
that is through the optical center which is undeviated meaning a ray in which the direction does not change so this is a ray through the optical center which goes undeviated meaning without changing its direction without changing its direction so now this is where the image is formed where the rays are intersecting this is where the rays are intersecting so dear learners it is from this illustration that we can state the characteristics of the image form so now looking at this drawing when you look at the size of this object and the size of the image they are the same so we can say the image is the same size as the object the image image is the same size same size as the object as we can see from this drawing then the second characteristic we can see this object is facing upward but the image is facing downward so we are going to say the image is inverted inverted meaning it is facing downward so now when we also look at the position of the object we can see the object is placed at 2f and the image is also formed at 2f so this becomes another characteristic so we say the object is sorry the image is at at 2f which means the distance from the center of the lens is the same the distance of the object from the center of the lens is the same like the distance of the image also from the center of the lens then the last characteristic we can also see that this image is formed by the actual intersection of rays so the image is real the image is real so these are the characteristics of image form when the object is at 2f so dear learners up to this point you have to keep in mind that the characteristic only depends on the position of the object so up to this point i would like to say thank you for attending the lesson i'm teacher kenna patrick Omoy. bye bye